Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Twenty years ago, the FBI attempted to frame Wen Ho Li as being a spy for China. He mishandled classified information at Los Alamos National Laboratories in a manner similar to Hillary Clinton. He moved classified information off of a classified server for the purposes of personal convenience. And then when he realized he was being investigated, he panicked and deleted data. The FBI charged him with being a spy for China and put him in solitary confinement without any evidence that he'd actually done that. Bill Richardson was Bill Clinton's Secretary of Energy. He wanted to be president and he thought that framing Wen Ho Lee would be a good way to advance his career. Framing other people for crimes they didn't commit seems to be good politics for Democratic politicians. My sister used to work for Bill Richardson, but she had to quit because of nonstop sexual harassment. After ruining Wen Ho Lee's life, the government eventually admitted that he wasn't a spy and gave him $1.6 million. But there's a lot more to this story. Wen Ho Lee was good friends with my parents. My mother taught piano to his children. My parents, who were hardcore Democrats, said the prosecution was absolutely absurd. There was no reason to believe that Wen Ho Lee was a spy or was disloyal to his country. Wen Ho Lee worked very closely at Los Alamos Labs with a good friend of mine, Bucky Cashua. Back in the 1970s, Bucky's brother, Hank Cashua, was the world professional skiing champion. Hank is seen here with a pair of volant skis, which his brother Bucky invented. I spent weekends in Bucky's garage helping him build the first prototype of volant skis. It was a revolutionary new design where the ski edges were folded rather than being screwed into the base. Bucky was good friends with Wen Ho Lee and worked very hard to document the malfeasance by the U.S. government in their attempt to frame him. Bucky told the Los Angeles Times, I do not believe that Wen Ho is a criminal. He's basically an honest man. Whatever he did, I don't believe he did it with any malicious intent. Wen Ho Lee is a free man now, but his reputation was ruined and he spent time in solitary confinement. What he did was no worse than what Hillary Clinton did, but according to the FBI, no reasonable prosecutor would prosecute Hillary Clinton because there's a different set of rules for Democrats than there is for everybody else. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this corruption for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Harry A. Caesar, Tokianupla on the web at realclimatescience.com.